Harry, what's the verdict on that game, please? The verdict was they scored a goal in the first half and we battered them in the second half and couldn't get a goal. Really, that was a, the verdict. Do you have words at half-time? Because you seem to come out with much more commitment to well, I felt we had commitment first half. I felt we we didn't close them, we didn't press them all over the park in our first half, and uh, they didn't create an awful lot. I mean, they got the goal and had one. Of, not as if our keeper had, keeper had been overworked in the first half, but second half we picked the pace up and we got after them. And really, it was one-way traffic. I mean, it was. Just, why don't we come out there half hardly second half? Did we? You had chances as well. Yeah, we had loads of chances. Good chances, yeah. Especially when so high the potion, thought, yeah, great yeah. chance at the end. Yeah, Louis would have scored, but uh, as well, he thought he might have been offside, but he wasn't. Um, but um, that's how it goes, you know. You you win some that you deserve to, uh, you don't deserve to win, and sometimes you get beat when you don't deserve to lose. So that's football. Three on the bounce now, three defeats on the bounce. Mm. Concerned? Concern? Yeah, I'm suicidal really. I think it's you know, <laughs> I think I'll, uh, you know, we've lost three, we've lost away to Arsenal away to Everton, home to Man United. They were always going to be tough games. Two of the games we didn't deserve to lose today and against Man United, but that's football. Harry, did you always suspect that the gap would close? I mean, two months ago, everyone said, oh, you'd be up there for a second. I, I didn't say that. Now other people might have said that, but I, I, I had enough common sense and knew enough about football to realise that wasn't the case. I, I said all along, 10 points can evaporate very quickly. And I looked at the fixtures and you knew going away to Matt, uh, Arsenal, Man United, Everton, Chelsea away in a couple of in you know next game coming up shortly. They were tough games, you know, and you knew that um, it can turn. But we're still in a better position than uh, than the other team, so we just got to keep going, keep believing, and we turn it round. You know, we'll, we'll we'll go again. Does the way you play, Harry? Give you confidence that you can. Yeah, I, I thought we played ever so well. Say Man United last week, I couldn't have asked for more. We switched off from a couple of set plays, and today. You know, we came back so strong second half, um, and it was the same. It was we never come out there half really from the first whistle of the second half to the end of the game. We just couldn't get a goal. Oh, just towards the end of the season, I mean, Leon Odden seemed to indicate to Gareth Bale that you weren't able to use him. Gareth Bale's <coughs> reputation. Do you think the opposition players now sort of maybe target him a little bit? And uh, but to, what to kick him or? Well, the, yeah, because he runs so quick, and you know, when when you're that quick and you're running at the pace he runs and changes direction, you get clipped and you go over. You probably never run that fast, nor have I, you know. <laughs> but um, you know, when you're that quick, that can happen to you. So I don't think he goes over easy. He gets chopped uh, chopped down an awful lot. The lad, to be fair with you, that's all part of the game. He has to accept that as well. Does he find it more difficult now? Well, no, I, well, I switched him today, Sam, because, you know, we, we haven't got a wide right player. You know, I've got wide left, people can play off the left, Nico Cranchar, yeah. Luka Modric, they're not, but there's no one at the club, really, apart from Aaron Lennon and David Bentley who can play wide right, so it was a problem. And he plays on the right for Wales anyway, you know, he likes to come in on the left foot. Uh, and I felt he'd pen Baines back as well, who's, you know, always a good attacking player for them. And second half, as I say, we, we just penned them in there, really. We just couldn't get the break, you know. It was, in the end, you started, you, you know, once Louis missed, you knew it wasn't going to be our day, you know. I think you should have had a couple of penalties. Uh, I'm not sure, Sam. I haven't seen them. I'd be, I'd be a lot, you know. I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen replays of them. Breaking just a little <coughs> bit about David Moyes. He celebrates. Yeah. yeah, he's done a fantastic job here, David, yeah. Great job. I mean, he's got this nice habit of turning over the... Well, they're a big, they're Everton are a big club, aren't they? I mean, we're not talking about one of the small clubs here, are we? Everton's a great football club, you know. You know, we all know Everton when, when they've won. You know, when they, I'm, I'm old, getting old. You know, I remember, I remember Alec Young and all them people. You know, and then you remember the great teams after that of, of Joe Royal and the, and then the great teams. You know, when when Lineker was here and people like Reedy and all them. I mean, you know, they've always had. This is a big club. It's not a small club. Everton is a proper football club. One of the great clubs in English football.